All right, YouTube and Auburn fans, once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. Talking Auburn football, go ahead and like the video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Um, you know, this is after the Georgia and Alabama game, which I actually enjoyed watching. I thought it was a, a really good game, especially up until the fourth quarter. But there are a lot of aftermath-type thoughts that I have about this game that have nothing to do with the actual logistics of the game itself. Uh, the, there, there are going to be a couple of questions on the floor. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger War Eagle. All right, so Auburn fans, this is not necessarily for you, but it's something to try on for your mental size. And it's also something to try on for the fan of the Iron Bowl Bowl's mental size. Because I know in Alabama, you gotta choose you basically gotta choose one side. Either you're roll tide or you are War Eagle. Now you're probably thinking, well Kennard, where are you going with this? Um, this is a thought that I've had for years, actually, when it comes to uh, the Alabama Crimson Tide, not as a football team. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way very quickly. I think what Alabama, as a football team, as a program under Nick Saban since 2007, has been an unprecedented run, no matter who you are. It just so happens that Alabama and Auburn are bitter rivals. That's something that that is not up for debate. But the question on the floor, for me, when Alabama wins or loses a significant game or just struggles in general, I'm, I'm still trying to understand the reach back. The reach back that says, Auburn, you're our little brother. Not. The reach back that says, Auburn, you did not play to get today, so why do you have a say? I don't get that either. If, if When Alabama loses, if you ain't have a game today, or if you weren't playing today, then, you know, take a back seat, basically. I'm trying to understand... When Alabama has these games, where they win or lose, how? How is it possible that a team, especially this year, when I look at the national championship game of this year, how is it possible that you have stuff like J.V. on Cohen going to the Auburn practice in Birmingham? At the Birmingham Bowl, trolling Auburn with the crank kick or whatever the hell that shit is. How do you troll? Uh, like, how do you find the time? Because I, I I will go out on a limb, which I don't say much anymore like I used to. And I'll even put a little money on it. <clears throat> that an Auburn player is not about to go to an Alabama practice for any reason to do something like that, to troll Alabama. And it's not so much because we can't, it's because we don't care. That's what I think frustrates, this is one of the layers of frustration that the Alabama fan base has with Auburn, is we genuinely don't care. I remember the 2010 National Championship game. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, the 2010 SEC Championship game. I didn't go to the game, but I was on the scene um, with my fraternity brothers, the great brothers of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity Incorporated, Theta Delta Chapter, which resides at Auburn University, P.O. Box 948, address... Auburn University 36830. I the last thought on my mind was to hit up an Alabama fan 
and say, you know, anything in regards to Alabama. I was not thinking about Alabama. What I was relishing was the fact that not Auburn, not only was Auburn winning the SEC championship, but the Auburn Tigers, in an unlikely fashion, were going to the national championship. I just didn't see where Alabama fit into that equation in any form or fashion. As a matter of fact, Funny Man Johnson, he does his um, videos where he talks about how Alabama fans react to any game for the most part. A lot of respect for the brother. Happens to be a fraternity brother. I'm looking at the videos in the background. And the videos in the background didn't have anything to do with the actual game between Alabama and Georgia currently. You had a bunch of Auburn clips in that game. And I don't get why. Why is Auburn seemingly on the minds of Alabama in these type situations. I mean, do you need a a, uh, proverbial shoulder to cry on or some another team to kick down just because you have failed? And the bad part about it is when you look at Alabama as a program, definitely not a failure program. Since 2007, and I think even this year, you look at the idea that against a lot of odds, a lot of injuries, you got a true you got a true freshman in Kool Aid McKinstry, (coughs) excuse me, playing quarterback, and you still are in position to win a national championship. Where does Auburn fit into all that, and why? I don't get it. Alabama loses the game. Yeah, we know how many national championships you won. You got 18 claimed. And you got a handful of others unclaimed. You have 28 SEC championships. You have multiple appearances in the college football playoffs. Countered with wins in the college football playoff. So where does Auburn fit into this? Why, where, where does the Alabama fan base find the solace in bringing Auburn up, win or lose, in their situation? I don't get it. I think, I think we got some clues, though, as to why. Number one, Auburn currently, in modern-day college football, has the longest winning streak against Alabama, which is six. The last time Alabama had such a win streak was nine, and that was during the Paul Bear Bryant era. Also, during the, I'd say the modern period, which started probably around 1990, even with the epic run of Nick Saban, The series is basically even. You look at the stats. Auburn and Alabama as a rivalry compared to other Alabama rivalries is basically dead even. Alabama 48 and 37 over Auburn and that includes the Bear Bryant era. So Bama fans, if you feel that Trolling Auburn will make you feel better. I'm all for it, but I don't get it. Once again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast, Talking Auburn Football. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.